Hello. Today we're gonna unblock the third Manipura chakra, also called the Solar Plexus chakra. It is located above the navel. The color is yellow, and it's related to the fire element. When in balance of this chakra, we gain confidence and self-esteem, and motivate ourselves. Also, we can keep our plans well and feel a sense of accomplishment. When off balance, we may suffer from low self-esteem, lack of determination, and have difficulty controlling our emotions. Physically, we also get tired easily and may suffer from digestive problems from overeating and weight gain. Let's do some good yoga asanas to activate the Manipura Chakra. Continue to think of keywords such as energy, intelligence, and youth symbolized by yellow and keywords like passion, motivation, and digestion promotion symbolized by the element of fire. I recommend doing this yoga while receiving the healing energy of the sun. Let's get started. First, please sit in Skasana. Put your hands on your knees and keep your spine upright. Pull your chin slightly and close your eyes. By repeating the affirmative confirmation, we'll open the Manipura Chakra. You can repeat it loud or in your head. Let's turn negative thoughts into constructive ones. I believe in the power within me. I'm ready to accept challenges. I'm brave and capable. My choices bring positive changes in my life. I'm in control of my life and destiny. All right, just kneel down on the mat. Spread your knees and make a deep baby position. Focus on unblock the Manipura Chakra above the navel. Be conscious throughout the asanas and feel the hot yellow wheel spinning. Put your hands on the floor and make a downward facing dog at a Mukha Svanasana. Heels up slightly and stretch your back by pushing the floor with both hands. If possible, slowly lower your heels to the floor. And if you have a curved back, keep your heels up. Make sure your toes are facing forward. Keep breathing. Stretch out your hands and push the floor with the middle finger facing forward. Keep in mind that thumb and index finger are also pushing well. Lengthen the back, close the ribs, belly in. Feel the yellow hot energy spinning over your navel. 
tighten your thighs and lift your hips higher to the sky. Keep your back straight. Bring your right leg between your hands. Straighten your legs. Turn your left foot outward about 45 degrees. Raise your right hand toward the sky and open your upper body to the right. Gaze on the right fingertip, Parivrta Trikonasana. Place your shoulders on top of your left wrist. If you can do more, try placing your left hand on the outside of your right foot. Twist deeply to activate the digestive system. Lower your right hand down to the floor and place both hands on either side of your right foot. Now, bend your right knee to 90 degrees. Tighten both legs and straighten your upper body. Put your hands on your pelvis. Pull your right pelvis slightly back and try to balance. Tighten your legs and put your hands on your head and make Viravadrasana 1, Warrior Pose. Let your palms face each other, eyes on the sky. Take three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. and exhale. Last inhale and exhale as you lower your hands to the floor. Straighten your right knee, place your hands on the floor and turn your body forward, both feet forward. Breathe in and straighten your upper body. Let's do the Prasarta Pastanasana. As exhale, slowly lower your crown to the floor. It's okay if it doesn't touch the floor. Please go down as far as you can. If possible, try placing your hands and crown in line with your feet. Please support the floor well with your hands. Slowly raise your head and turn your body to the left. Let's do the other side. This time, turn your right foot outward about 45 degrees. Raise your left hand to the sky and open your upper body to the left. Gaze on the left fingertip. Paribhuta Trikonasana. Place your shoulder on top of your right wrist. If more possible, try placing your right hand on the outside of your left foot. Twist deeply to activate the digestive system. Lower your left hand down to the floor and place both hands either side of your left foot. Now bend your left knee to 90 degrees. Tighten your legs and straighten your upper body. Hands on the pelvis. Move your left pelvis slightly back to balance. Be careful not to go over your ankles on your knees. Raise both hands up to the sky. Tighten your legs, eyes on the sky too. Feel the hot Manipura chakra above your navel. 
Let's take three deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Again, inhale and exhale. Last, inhale and as exhale, lower your hands to the floor. Send your left foot to the back and make a plank. Push the floor well with your hands and be careful not to pop out the wing bones. Pull your belly upwards and tighten the cores. Roll the tailbone slightly and eyes on the front of the mat. Drag your heels down and lengthen the back of your ankles. Make it straight from the head to the heel. Let's go with Chaturanga Dandasana. Lift your heels up, send your upper body to the front. And if you want to put your knees down, put them down. If you can, just go. Turn your elbows back, lower your body to the floor. Down the top of the foot on the floor and raise your upper body. Cobra pose, Bhuzangasana. Keep your wing bones behind and pull your shoulders down to lengthen your neck. Contract your hips and make sure your pubis do not float off the floor. Look upwards or tilt your head to the sky. Good. Go down to the floor and rest on your cheek. Let's do the bow pose, Janurasana. First, bend your knees and grab your ankles with your hands. Continue to be conscious of the hot manipura chakra above the navel during the movement. Inhale and exhale completely. Then lift your legs and chest off the mat. Lift your head and tilt it back. Hold with your stomach. Keep breathing. It's okay to breathe fast. Once you raise your legs a certain extent, gather your knees, thighs, and ankles together. If it's too hard to hold them, you can go down. If possible, keep a little longer. Very good. Relax your ankles and put your body on the floor. Please rest on your cheek for a while. Let's stand up and sit in as Dandasana. Stretching your legs and back. For the last, let's do the boat pose, Paripurna Navasana. Stretch your hands forward and let your palms face each other. Slowly lift your legs about 60 degrees. Raise your feet higher than your head. Balance them only with your hips. Keep breathing. It's okay shaking. Be conscious of the hot energy on the navel and maintain the posture. 
it's a good posture for abdominal inflation or losing fat from the waist. It is good if you do it constantly for 30 seconds to 1 minute every day. Very good. Lie down on the mat. Let's focus on the Manipura Chakra on the navel. Feel the energy and slowly pull your knees close to your chest. Hold your leg with both hands and slowly bring your forehead close to your knees. Stay there for a while. Close your eyes, breathe and feel the energy. Head down and slowly move left and right to relax your back muscles. Let's put it down and rest in Savasana. Put your palms facing the sky and put your legs down comfortably. Point your toes out. Let's repeat the affirmation once again and fill the Manipura Chakra deeply. I believe in the power within me. I'm ready to accept challenges. I'm brave and capable. My choices bring positive changes in my life. I'm in control of my life and destiny. Good. Wake up your fingertips and toes. Move your head left and right. Lie down on the comfortable side and wait for a while. Sit on the floor in Skasana. Let's rub both hands hot. Put your hands on your navel and close your eyes. Think of the burning the negative energy within you with the fire element. Put your hands together in front of your chest and pull up the corners of your mouth. Make a smile. I hope you maintain the balance of Manipura Chakra and continue the happy, healthy, and successful life. Thank you for your effort today. Namaste.